Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is on the new brand, Koki. And this brand is found in Walmart and I believe online. So it just recently launched not too long ago and I just wanted to try out a couple of the products. Actually, I pretty much got a full face. <laughs> but yeah, if you're interested in seeing how these products work on my face and how they work out, then just keep on watching. So to start off, I did get a new primer by the brand Koki. And this is the So Matte Mattifying Foundation Primer. It will balance out shine and oil, providing a long-lasting, smooth-looking complexion all day. So this is nice. By the way, don't mind my nails. I had to rip them off. I couldn't deal with it anymore. I don't know what happened to me. Just one day I was freaking out and I just ripped them all off. <laughs> Talk about psycho, right? <laughs> but anyways, I'm just going to... It's literally purple. Okay, that's very interesting. So I'm just going to take about that much. And I'm going to rub this all over my face. So that's interesting. The color's purple. I don't know how I feel about that, but it was cool. It feels really nice on the skin. My skin feels really smooth um, and just really nice, like a perfect canvas ready for foundation. So I did get a new foundation, and this is the Skin Perfect HD Foundation. And on the back, it says, a mid-coverage natural finish foundation that offers flawless, high-def perfection in every light. I'm just going to pump a few pumps on the back of my hand. It wants to come out. Okay. So that's what it looks like right there. It is a little more runny. The color looks kind of promising because I'm very tan right now because I went to the beach the other day because it was like 90 degrees out and your girl got sunburned. <laughs> So that is about half of my face. I used about two pumps, which it's not full coverage yet. It is a little more of a medium. So this is one complete layer. I have to say on my first impression right now, it is more of a dewier foundation, so I don't know if I'm going to like this since I have oily skin, but we'll just have to wait and see. Um, it's not complete full coverage. It might look like it in the camera just because my camera really blurs out freckles a little more than in person, but let's just see if I can do a few more um, pumps on the rest of my face and see if it builds a little more. Okay, so this is the two layers that I added on. It does look really nice. It feels really comfortable on the skin right now. I think this is a perfect match to my skin tone right now, which, yes, girl, finally. So far, I'm really liking this foundation. So I also did get a new concealer. This is the Be Bright Illuminating Concealer, and I got the shade Light. Oh, uh, what was I thinking? Oh boy, I should have gotten medium. I didn't realize how dark this foundation was. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's really cute. I honestly love this packaging for a drugstore. It all has like these little lines, black and white. It's so cute. Like, look. So cute. I love it. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit of this just because my foundation is so dark. And this is so light. Oh boy. We're just going to do a little. Just a little. This is a really small applicator, so I feel like I have to dip in a bunch of times. Okay. So there's that. It is really light. I should have gotten medium. I couldn't decide. Ugh, I always need to go darker. I always, like, think I'm lighter in complexion than I am. Because I'm so tan right now from the beach. I didn't know I was going to the beach. But then again, the foundation is perfect, so whatever. Let's just see what this looks like blended out. Ugh. It's so light. Wow. We'll make it work. It's fine. So the 
concealers, I'll blend it out. I know it's really light. You don't have to go and comment in the comments 500 times that it's really light. I know. I know. So this is the translucent setting powder. And in the shade translucent. I'm just going to bake my face like I always do. So let me open this bad boy up. It does come with a little puff. That's what it looks like. It's just a nice banana shade translucent powder. So far I'm really loving that translucent powder. It feels really nice on the skin, really lightweight feeling. Definitely I feel like it's a dupe for the Laura Mercier in a way. It's just a little more like yellow tinted than that, but I don't mind that because it just sinks in the skin anyways. So I did not get a new brow product. So I'm just going to go fill in my brows real quick and I'll be back to wipe off all this excess powder. Okay, so I'm back. Brows are on. So now I'm just going to dust this away with a big powder brush. Let's see how it feels after. So it's all dusted away. My face does look a lot lighter than my skin tone right now. I think that translucent powder really lightened up the foundation a lot and the concealer lightened it up a lot so uh, that's not really helping my whole situation right now. But we'll just roll with it with contouring and bronzing. So I also did get this Koki Powder Contour Palette and this supposedly is a contouring and highlighting shade palette. Oh okay. So it does come with a little film, toss that, and this is what it looks like. It really looks like the Kat Von D shade and light, which I love. This is, looks really promising. And I believe I got the shade light. I do believe they have a shade or a palette for darker complexions. I do not see the shade on this, so. No. We're all good. So I think I'm going to mix these two shades together right here, just to contour a little bit. It gives a nice shadow, it's not too harsh. My face just looks so white. Oh, I don't know what to do. So I'm just going to go in with a little more. So it did give a nice shadow to my cheekbones. I just wish it would blend a little bit better. I just feel like it's kind of like sticking to my dry patches on my cheeks. But it's really not that bad. It's kind of it's kind of subtle. It's really nice. I'm just going to dip into this more ashy shade right here and contour my nose with this shade. So next we're going to go in with this Koki Professionals Classic Romance Eyeshadow Palette. This packaging is so cute. So cute. So let me just open this bad boy up. That's what the colors look like. They're really pretty mauve colors. So I also did get a brush from them because they do have brushes. And this looked really intriguing. And this is the Koki 627. It feels really soft has like a blue black tint to it on the end of the bristles. It's not as soft as the Morphe. And it is a little different. The handle is very short. Look at the difference. Holy crap. So we're just gonna use this brush today. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the shade right down here. I don't like how they don't have the shade names on them at all. Next, I'm going to go in with this deep purple right here in the middle. First off, they're not very pigmented. Second off, I feel like I have to dip into them multiple times to get the color payoff that I see in the pan. And there's like patchiness. 
I don't know why it's doing that. I'm not really sure. So that's the best we're going to get right now. I mean, the brush is really soft, but I just feel like these shadows are not very pigmented. So I feel like I have to sit here and go in and dip into the colors like 8 million times to get them to the... See that? Do you see that? Why is that not blending? It's a little bit on this side too. It's really patchy. It's frustrating. I just keep trying to add more color to it and it's not working. <laughs> so then I'm going to go in with this black in the corner right here. And I'm just going to put that right in the inner corner just to deepen it up a little. Okay, let me try a different brush. So I'm going to go in with the Morphe M433. Try and do it this way. Oh, yeah. Do you see the difference? It applies it way more faster and way more blended. So it definitely is the brush. So they're not the best brushes, in my opinion. I mean, they're very cheap, but Morphe brushes are also cheap. You just have to pay for shipping, which I mean, they're worth the shipping price. I think I'm going to go in with this pink champagne-y sparkly color right here okay I'm not mad at it it's not the best shimmer but it's not the worst I feel like let's try and build it up a little bit eh. mm. so that's the shimmer shade I'm not really that impressed with it honestly so I'm going to go back in. I'm going to mix the dark purple and the black in the corner. And just blend this out. They're very pigmented when you go in with a different brush other than the Koki. I don't know. I feel like there's no hope right now. <laughs> so I did not pick up a liquid liner. So I'm just going to go in with my Wet n Wild do a little wing and then apply falsies and I'll be right back okay so liner and lashes are on I love these oh, don't mind my glue is still drying but whatever so next I did not buy a highlighter I don't know if I just didn't see one but yeah I did not buy a highlighter so I'm just gonna skip out on that today because I'm gonna save that for another video coming to you guys soon so for my lower lash line I'm gonna be going in with the dark purple right here and then this black on the outer corner And I'm going to go in with that black and just focus this mainly on the outer corner just to deepen it up a little bit. That's cute. So next I'm just going to take some black eyeliner. This one's from Maybelline. And I'm going to smudge this along my lower lash line. I'm just going to go in with one of my mascaras really quickly and just coat my top lashes so they blend in with my falsies. And this is the Better Than Sex Mascara. And then I'm going to coat my bottom lashes with this as well. And then for a lip, I got the Lip Podre. I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know. Lip Podre. It's a liquid matte powder. This is in the shade Infamous. So this is what the looks like. It doesn't really match this look, but we'll deal. 
So then that's what the applicator looks like. Just a normal, you know, Duff applicator. So then let's see what this is like. Because it said this was new. It had like a new sign next to it. And it says it's like a powder to liquid formula. So I don't know what that means, but... Very pigmented. Very... And this is the completed look, you guys. So let me just go through the products really quickly and tell you what I liked and what I didn't like. So first off, this primer. So far, I really like it. I just don't know if it's going to last long throughout the day. I'm not really sure because I'm not doing a wear test for this foundation or this primer. My face makeup looks really smooth and really nice and matte. So A plus so far. And then the foundation, I really like this foundation just because it is a darker foundation and it's perfect for when I'm really tan and from the summer. Just the concealer really lightened it up a lot, so I'm just going to have to switch out the concealer colors. But so far, I really like this. It feels really nice on the skin. It blended out beautifully. It's not completely full coverage. It's more on the medium side. I don't really know about this. It didn't feel cakey underneath the eyes at all. I just wish I got a darker shade because this is way too light for me. But other than that, I, I like how it feels underneath my eyes. It didn't feel too cakey, like too much, not too greasy, nothing like that. But I do have to say that it is not full coverage. It's more like light medium. This contouring palette, I really like this. I feel like it's definitely a cheaper alternative than the Kat Von D one because honestly it looks identical. The colors blended out really nicely. I just like did a soft little contour today. Not a lot of bronzing like I usually do. <laughs> but yeah, I really like it. The banana colors worked really nice to clean up my contour a little bit. The powders blend out really nicely, so I definitely give this an A plus also. Um, on to the eyes. Eyeshadows, these blend so much better than with this brush. Honestly, I really don't like this brush. And it's pretty much around the same price as the Morphe brush that I used. So I definitely would not try this out. They're not that good. I mean, they feel soft and they feel identical to the Morphe's in a way. But they don't blend products very well. I just feel like my eyeshadow was like all over the place. <laughs> and then I just had to fix it with the Morphe brushes. But this eyeshadow palette definitely did work way better with a different, better brush. Um, the mattes are good. They blend out really nice with a better brush, not the Koki brand. The shimmers aren't my favorite. They're just not really shimmery. They're just kind of just like a sheen on your eyes. So, I mean, if you like more subtle looks, they do have different colors in these. They have like six of these little palettes. And the translucent powder, I really like it. It feels definitely like the Laura Mercier. I just... I'm not obsessed right now just because it didn't feel like, I didn't feel like it added any more coverage than um, what was on my face already. I mean, it is translucent powder, but some of my translucent powders do give me a little more coverage. So, I mean, I'm not mad at it. And then lastly, the liquid lip or lick podre, whatever you want to call it. Um, this definitely reminds me of the NYX Liquid Suede lipsticks, the packaging and everything and the way it applied the applicator everything honestly it took a while to dry down I feel like it's still it's not as sticky as it was before it just takes a while to dry down and I don't know how well they will last throughout the day I hope you guys enjoyed this video I love trying out new brands especially new drugstore brands because they're affordable and they're easy to get your hands on don't forget to subscribe before you leave I would appreciate it so much and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys